Hi everyone, Matt here with ABI Attachments. Welcome back to the ABI Dirt. As you can tell, they let me out of the warehouse today. We are out enjoying some rare spring sunshine here in Northern Indiana. And given that it's spring, we thought that today would be a great day to highlight some of the features on our compact water trailer line. As it starts to warm up, you might be thinking about, oof, what happens when it gets really warm and I need the water around the property? And we recently redesigned our compact water trailer line. So our 340 gallon and our 550 gallon water trailers. And I'd love to talk through some of the features we've got on this line so that you know if this would be a good match for you in all of your spring and summer projects. First things first, on a list of features of this newly redesigned compact water trailer line is the frame itself. And I know that may not be the first thing you think of when you think of the different features on the water trailer, but it's kind of like the backbone that holds everything together. And for us, it was vital because we wanted to provide you a safer, smoother experience by building a frame that sits lower to the ground. A trailer that fits, frame that fits lower to the ground means that your water tank and all the water in it is lower to the ground. It means you've got a lower center of gravity and means for a safer, smoother experience. So when you hook this water trailer up to your UTV, you can trust that you've got all the control and the braking power you need on your UTV to handle the weight that's back behind you. It's gonna feel less like the tail's wagging the dog. Another benefit of this custom design trailer is that you've got incorporated plumbing into the trailer system. That means a lot of your plumbing that's running from the, the tank up to the pump, from the pump back out to the rear end for that rear spray bar, it's tucked up inside of that frame, which means you've got less dragging, less likely that any of those hoses or any of that plumbing is going to be punctured or damaged while running around the property. Another benefit to a custom designed frame means that it allows for a custom designed tank. So on our 340 and 550 water trailers, we have got full drain tank system and that's only possible because the trailer is custom designed to accommodate it. And that brings us to the tank. A couple of features here in the tank itself, first already mentioned is that full drain tank system. If you've ever had to clean out a water tank that's or a flat bottom water tank on a flat trailer, you know the headache that's involved in cleaning that bugger out. Uh, where that water is pulled from, if it's not full drain, now you've got muck and gunk and possibly algae and moss in the bottom. It's a massive pain. Some trailers even require you uh, to unpin or unfasten the tank from the trailer, flip that tank over and get it cleaned out on the ground, and now that's just a whole lot of muscle and time. Whereas on a full drain system, very simple to open up the top cover, open up the full drain on the bottom, spray out the inside, everything gets washed out to the bottom, and now you've got a clean tank. So now let's talk about getting this water trailer filled up because this can, for those of you who have never had a water trailer, this can seem like a huge tank that you've got to fill up to keep operational. So three different ways that you can fill your tank up. If you've got, uh, if you've got some large diameter plumbing and piping connected directly to your well, some of you have uh, maybe you have water storage tanks that are elevated. Maybe you've got a well system that allows you to distribute water through a full two inch, uh, two inch pipe. If so, the hinged lid up on top of the tank is ideal. Pull up to the barn, pull up to the water tank, pull up to where the well access is, and you've got the ability to drop that, that two inch pipe directly in. That's a really quick way to fill up the tank. If you've got more restriction on size of, size of plumbing, maybe you've just got a garden hose and that's the only way that you've got to fill up the system. You think, Matt, well, that's gonna take forever. No problem, we actually have a, a fill option right here in the front of the trailer, allows you to quickly and easily connect your garden hose directly to this auto shutoff. And with that auto shutoff valve that's on the inside of the tank, turn that garden hose on, walk away, let it sit overnight because as the water fills up the tank, the auto shutoff engages and you're not gonna be overflowing and water spilling out all over the place. That's a really quick set it, walk away, get some chores done and come back later. The third option to filling up is the pond fill option that is attached directly to uh, the motor and pump. That way you can connect if you've got a water source close by, you can throw that pond fill hose into the water source, turn the valves onto that pump, and now you're pulling water directly from that water source. Let's say you've got a stream, let's say you've got a pond close by, directly into the tank. So now that you've got water in the tank, let's talk about how to get water out of the tank. Two primary ways to get water distributed outside of the tank. First up is through the rear spray bar. So we've made the rear spray bar a trademark of all ABI water trailers because we work with a lot of folks who have long driveways, who have gravel lots, or who have horse arenas, or who are working on sports fields. In all of those scenarios, you need some kind of rear spray system so you can hook up to a water trailer, take off, and you can fan spray out large amounts of water 
helped either take care of that sports infield or keep the dust down in the gravel driveway. Maybe you've got heavy compaction in that gravel driveway. Moisture is going to loosen that up. Or if you're in the equine industry, you know how vital it is to keep your horse arena well watered so it gives you more purchase when you're out training and performing. So that all requires a rear spray bar out the rear end of the trailer. Now, that can be tricky if you've got a DIY trailer because sometimes some trailers, some competitors out there have the rear spray bars set up that you've got to actually turn on that rear spray bar while you're standing next to the water trailer. Then you get up in your tow vehicle and you take off. We want to give you as much control as possible over that rear spray bar because what we don't want to happen is for you to have to control that rear spray bar from the front of the water trailer. That means that you're going to turn it on, engage it, that rear spray bar is going to kick into place, and no matter how fast you are, it's going to take a couple of seconds for you to get back into your tow vehicle and start driving. In those amount of seconds, you're dumping a lot of gallons of water right outside your arena or at some poor spot right in the middle of your driveway. To take care of that, we've installed a ratchet valve on the system that controls the rear spray bar. That means with that ratchet valve connected directly up to a string that leads up to your tow vehicle, you can sit in the CD of your tow vehicle, yank on that cord, operate that ratchet valve, and you can turn your rear spray system on and off while driving, while operating. That means you can put extra water down where it's extra dry, you can prevent water from going down to places that's wet, and no more puddles right outside your arena or at some random spot in your driveway. Second method of distributing water out of this compact water trailer is the spray hose. So you can see you've got this spray hose fixed here. It wraps right around the tank. A couple of things in the spray hose here. This is an anti-kink spray hose, so you won't ever have to worry about things getting uh, kind of binded up there. You've also got the ability uh, to operate the spray hose, again, from the seat of your tow vehicle. Just stretch this hose out up by your front seat, and then you can use that handle, turn it off and on, and you can see quick and easy storage. It actually wraps around the tanks itself drops here in place, straps into position, stow and go, no need to haul heavy hoses and keep throwing them into the bed of your TV or the bed of your truck. So if any of these features have piqued your interest or you're wondering, man, that's, I wonder if this could fit on my property, I wonder if this would help me get my work done around here, and you're curious as to whether or not uh, one of these compact water trailers would fit your tow vehicle, well, this is an ideal time for you to give our product specialists a call. They get to talk about water trailers all the time. They're excited to match people up uh, with the water trailer that best meets your needs. Uh, specifically, we've designed this compact water trailer line to work best with UTVs, subcompact tractors, and compact tractors. But it all depends on what you've got going on on your property. What kind of terrain do you have? How much horsepower and braking? And if you've hung out with this any amount of time at ABI, you know how specific we are and intentional we are about matching up the right attachment with the right tow vehicle. So give us a call. We'd love to hear about what you've got going on this spring, this summer, as it heats up. We want to make sure that your property is uh, getting taken care of with all of your water management needs. That's all I've got today, everyone. Hope that was helpful. Hope it starts to jog your thoughts as you're looking into warmer days of what you need to get done around your property. If you are new to the channel or new to these videos, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos henceforth, and we'll see you next time.